White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, are a crucial component of the immune system. They play various roles in defending the body against infections, foreign substances, and abnormal cells. There are several types of white blood cells, each with distinct functions and responsibilities. Let's explore the roles of different white cells and how they may be affected by diseases and disorders in this short video. Neutrophils are the most abundant type of white blood cells and are often the first responders to infections. They are responsible for engulfing and destroying bacteria and other foreign particles. In certain diseases, such as sepsis or severe bacterial infections, neutrophil counts may increase or decrease, affecting their ability to combat infection effectively. Lymphocytes are divided into two main types, B cells and T cells. B cells produce antibodies that target and neutralize specific pathogens, while T cells directly attack infected cells. Lymphocyte disorders can arise in conditions like leukemia, lymphoma, or autoimmune diseases. These disorders may result in abnormal lymphocyte counts or impaired function, compromising the body's ability to fight infections and regulate immune responses. Monocytes are responsible for engulfing and digesting cellular debris, foreign substances, and pathogens. They also play a role in presenting antigens to other immune cells. Chronic inflammatory conditions, such as rheumatoid arthritis or inflammatory bowel disease, can lead to increased monocyte production and activation, contributing to tissue damage and inflammation. Eosinophils are involved in combating parasitic infections and modulating allergic responses. Conditions like asthma, allergies, or parasitic infections can cause an increase in eosinophil levels. Conversely, certain disorders, such as eosinophilic disorders or certain types of leukemia, can lead to excessive eosinophil production and tissue damage. Basophils release chemicals, such as histamine, during allergic reactions. They are involved in the body's response to allergens and parasites. Disorders like allergic reactions, chronic urticaria, hives, or certain leukemias can affect basophil function and numbers, leading to abnormal immune responses. It's important to note that diseases and disorders can affect white blood cells in different ways. Some conditions may result in an increase, leukocytosis, or decrease, leukopenia, in white cell counts, while others may impact their functionality or distribution within the body. For example, autoimmune diseases can lead to the production of autoantibodies that target specific white blood cells, affecting their normal functioning. Understanding the roles of different white blood cells and how they may be affected by diseases and disorders is crucial for diagnosing and managing various conditions. Healthcare professionals closely monitor white cell counts and their functionality to assess immune system health and identify potential underlying issues. Treatment strategies aim to restore white cell balance or function, depending on the specific disorder and its impact on the immune system.